In Boston and in other cities around the globe, people are marching for women's rights in Iran. The demonstrations follow last month's death of a 22-year-old woman while she was in the custody of Iran's so-called morality police. WBZ's Paul Burton was at today's protest on Boston Common. Hundreds gathered by the steps of the State House to protest Iran's treatment of women. We want freedom for all women in Iran and we want freedom for all people in Iran because some people are protesting in Iran and they are being killed in the streets. We are all that girl in Iran that could be taken away. The protests were triggered by the September 16th death of Masa Amini, a 22-year-old woman detained for allegedly not covering her hair properly. She later died in custody of Iran's morality police. It's just brought out so much anger, so much hurt from all of us that we can't keep silent. Even though us being here right now is actually it's a danger to all of us, we probably can't go back to our home countries, um, but it's worth it. They're here to speak out on behalf of Iranian women having the right to wear the hijab without fearing for their safety. During the rallies, some Iranian women even went as far as to cut their hair in protest. We just want our women to be free. We want our young people to have hope. So from the steps of the State House, they will now march around Boston Common to show their solidarity for the people of Iran. More than 500 people have gathered here today to say enough is enough. Anti-government protests have entered their third week in Iran. Over the weekend, protests like this are happening around the world. It's so powerful to see that everybody's coming together to show that this is not what we accept. They hope their loud voices of change will be heard by the people in Iran. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.